Okay, so the first thing that you have to understand uh, is that the way it works for the Jews, okay, for Masih, Masih to receive, is that it is not same as receiving a Nabi, a Prophet, okay. There, Masih, the concept of it is somewhat different than we, uh, than the way we think about the Prophets, okay, sending a Nabi. Even though it's pretty similar, but it's not exactly the same. Now, this guy, uh, Ziskiahu Ben David, some of you actually have uh, asked me to make a comment on him uh, and, 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 uh, and let you know what I think about him. A few things that we have to understand. Uh, in Judaism, if we want to call this guy, Ziskiahu, I believe his name, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. For us to understand how it works, the Judaism they are divided in different different sects okay the Spanish Jew they are saying this is the Messiah okay this is the Messiah that was sent to Israel and so everybody is following him and, and people are making videos about him some other people are saying no he is not the Messiah because uh, some other when I say some other people means the, the Jew they are saying some other Jew they are saying that no this is not the Messiah because there are certain requirements that must be fulfilled before uh, a Messiah would come, okay, before a Messiah will appear. And these requirements they mention number one is going to be he must be he must be able to gather the Jews people from around the world who are been exiled back to Israel. Okay, so the first thing that he has to do is to bring back all the all the Jews. Number two, he must rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Number three, he will rule at the time of worldwide peace. Number four is he will rule at the time when Jew people will observe God's commandments. And number four. Uh, five, he will rule at a time when all people, okay, all people, not just the Jew, but all people, will come to acknowledge and serve one God. Okay, so these requirements were not fulfilled during the time of Isa Jesus. That, that, that's why they rejected him. This is what Judaism are saying. That Jesus did not come when these requirements were being fulfilled. So he cannot be our Messiah, he cannot be our uh, our guy because this these conditions were not fulfilled. Now this uh, uh, guy, I want to play this video in a second. Uh, he is creating some real buzz in social media, especially on YouTube. People are talking about him, uh, Ziskiahu uh, Ben David, and a lot of people are making videos uh, arguing for him arguing against him saying that no he's not the guy so i want you to take a look at this video so that inshallah uh, you have a better idea what i'm talking about so as you can see he is speaking okay the the rabbi he's a rabbi he's very very knowledgeable in torah he's a scholar in torah he knows torah in and out okay that's much that's how much he knows about um, about torah he's a he's a scholar people are saying uh, that um, that he is not the Messiah, but at the same time he is talking about rebuilding the third temple. Now this is where it gets interesting, because one of the roles of the Messiah, you know, Yahudi Messiah, is that they will build the te temple or rebuild the temple, I should say. And this is what he is doing. Okay, this is what he is doing. He's he's trying to talk. Um, to his fellow Jews that we need to rebuild the te the temple, the, uh, the third temple. And so people are saying that, oh, okay, the, he must be then the, 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 the guy, the Messiah. And this is not true. I want to show you this video. See how he was received, okay? Is this Kiahu Ben David? This is who he is. Okay, this is, this. so this is the guy. Okay, this is the guy in the middle. I hope you see him. This is the guy. And people, uh, as you can see, uh, the Jews, they're receiving him very well. But uh, the Jew in, in Israel, they are not saying this is a Messiah. Okay, the people, a Spanish Jew, they are saying he's the Messiah. 
okay um, so there is some contradiction there and uh, when Zechariah and the book of Zechariah uh, when the book was written 2500 years ago um, in that book uh, there was a prophecy that that said that a man okay will appear a Messiah will appear but the book contradicts itself because the book talks about a Messiah who will be peace loving at the same time it talks about Messiah a Messiah who will be a fighter so the the Yahud they do not have a clear-cut idea when it comes to what kind of Messiah they will receive because uh, their books uh, they're very contradicting and even the Christian uh, who are waiting for Jesus Isa Islam, to come back they are also confused because they do not know what kind of Messiah they're, they're waiting for and the requirements that I just mentioned the five requirements for the Messiah to come it is not possible to be fulfilled all of them at once I mean uh, if you think about it how can you have uh, you know all the Jew coming back to Israel this is something very very it's a gigantic task if not impossible then you have to okay rebuild the temple in Jerusalem that's fine he will uh, he will rule the world with peace I do not know if that is possible it looks like they are more talking about the Mahdi and he will rule at the time when Jew people will be uh, ob will observe uh, God's command and he will rule at a time when people will come to acknowledge and serve one God so um, to meet all of these requirements in other words dear brothers and sisters at once uh, it is something uh, unrealistic to be honest with you uh, unless someone is sent by God to establish all of these rules then it is possible but here he will not be sent by God to establish these rules rather he he will come when these rules are already in place when these requirements are already in place he is not going to do anything he's going he is coming just to rule over the world the Jew uh, Messiah I'm talking about but our the, the Mahdi uh, in Islam he is going to come and he is going to establish it <laughs> okay it's not going to be a you know a cupcake a free pizza you have to work hard Islam is is completely different in this sense you have to work hard in order to establish or achieve something the, but the Jew Messiah is, is completely different. They are saying that these things will exist, then he will come. Looks like, okay, this is the understanding that we get from their books. But obviously they will change. So this is the this is a Ben David, uh, Ziskia Ben David. Now, some people are saying, people who claim that this is the Messiah, they are the Antichrist. Okay, some people are even going to the extent calling him and calling his followers as Antichrist. Uh, especially the the Christian they're saying that, that this guy Ziskia Ben David is actually the Antichrist but uh, some Jew they say no no no, this is our guy this is the Messiah uh, Ziskia uh, Ben David um, so well, the point here is that dear brothers and sisters we are living at a time when things are going to change very fast as we know there is no doubt about that we are living very close to the time of the gel we're already living in the gelic system okay everything you see is is completely the gelic muslims uh, the way they are being dealt with in all over the world is is a it shows how uh, much this the gelic system is in place against the believers so when we say we are close to the system of the gel or the time of the gel we mean that these things coming of you know Messi from different other religion is nothing uh, surprising wallahi things are changing very fast we need to be careful because wallahi once uh, you get desensitized with this kind of Messi and, and, and this kind of false knowledge uh, then you will be easily confused when the real Antichrist the Jal will appear you'll be confused you, you will not know what to believe what not to believe so our our belief, our system, our knowledge, our system, our knowledge will be uh, will be polluted with a lot of false fake news. And so Muslims who are so tuned in to this kind of news without knowledge, they will think, well, I do not know what to believe, you know, because uh, there are some requirements that are being fulfilled. So for example, yes, the Jews are in Israel. You know, in Jerusalem, they are building temple, they're rebuilding temples. 
So Muslims will say, well, should I believe in Judaism? Because it looks like they're true. They're building temples. They're in, in, in Jerusalem. They have the upper hand. So maybe they are true. But the Muslim ulama will say, no, no, no. They are not, they are not uh, on haq. Rather, we are on haq. So the Muslim, young Muslim especially, when the, the fitna will be so great, they will be confused. They will not know what to believe anymore. And the Jal's fitna is, 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 is so bad. is is such that uh, anyone will fall um, into his trap. This is how dangerous his fitna is. But uh, something I found, found interesting about this guy. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him, inshallah. And make more videos, inshallah, coming days. And see what um, he does. If he's the Masih, um, the way you uh, believe. And then obviously we'll see some of the signs and uh, some of the claims that they will make. New here, consider subscribing, like this video, share this video, inshallah. I'll see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.